five. As you can hear, it's misfiring. So in this video, I want to show you how to diagnose what the misfire is and how to fix it. Shouldn't take us too long. Okay, now the first thing to do is to work out what cylinder we're having a problem with. Because it's clearly one of the cylinders aren't running as good as they should be. So we're gonna to have to try and work this out. And we can work this out by, by looking at the coil pack. This here is the coil pack. It'll be different on a lot of other cars, but it generally where your, where your spark plugs end and go into a unit like this, that's where your coil packs are. A lot of the other Volkswagen and Golfs have actually got the coil packs on the um, spark plugs themselves. But this particular model, this V5 model, has got the coil pack here. This, is, this unit here is where the coil packs go. So what we're gonna do is, is that we're gonna remove them one by one and the one that affects the engine is gonna be the one that has the issue. Sorry, the one that does not affect the engine is gonna be the one that has the problem. Now I've done this a little bit earlier, so I know, but I'm gonna show you as well. So just so you know. So let's just zoom in here. Do. See that affects the engine. So it's not that one. That one also affected the engine, so it's not that one. That affected the engine, so it's not that one either. Let's try this one. That one's affecting the engine as well, slightly, not as much, but it is still affecting the engine. Try this one. That one's not affecting the engine. There's no difference in the way the engine's running. So, from that basic investigation, we can actually quite easily tell that the problem is here. From here, or this route, that's where the problem is. So. That brings us to our next case where it's, when you follow this line down, it's this cylinder here that actually needs the attention. So the next thing to do is, is to check whether it's the um, spark plug, the lead, or the coal pack. Now, suspicion tells me it's probably gonna be the coal pack because there's quite a low, there's not really much intensity coming from, there's not really much intensity coming from it. And if it's mistimed just by a very, very minute amount, it won't run right. So our, our first step is to change the spark plugs. I'm gonna remove the spark plugs, um, see what it looks like, and I'm probably gonna swap it around to see if that is the cause of the problem. Um, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so let's look now. Now they both look roughly the same, but what you'll find is with this one is that it's more greasy, like the fuel hasn't been burning. This one's more dry. This one, so there's definitely a problem here. Once again, just confirmation that that's the cylinder that we're supposed to be looking at. So what I'm gonna do next now, what I'm gonna do next now is I'm gonna swap them around to see if it fires any different or not. Um, so we could eliminate the spark plug. So if, if this spark plug in the new cylinder starts to fail, if this spark plug in the new cylinder starts to fail, we can say, we can say it's this spark plug. But the easiest thing to do, if you haven't got time for all of that, is just to change all the spark plugs and then go again from scratch. But this is the next move we're gonna do now, is we're gonna change spark plugs over. Now it's about checking which one which cylinder is missing on, bearing in mind that I've swapped the spark plug. So we're gonna work out whether it's from the spark plug problem or from further up one of the leaves or even the coal pack. So 
So as you can see, removing this cylinder is still dead. There's still no change. If it was a spark plug problem, the, it, the problem would have followed this cylinder. So it would have gone here. Where I've moved the spark plug from here to here, the problem would now have been here had it been a spark plug problem. But it's clearly not a spark plug problem. It's, it's either leads or coil pack or something a bit internal. But so far, so good. So now at least we know it's not this. And it's on to checking this. The next job is to get a replacement lead because it could be the lead that's broken or torn somewhere why it's not firing 100%. Luckily enough, a friend of mine who's also got a Volkswagen uh, V5, let me use these. So we're gonna change this and then see what happens. We're gonna change the coil pack. That's this whole pack here. We're gonna change this over and uh, replace it with one I got from eBay. Let me show you. Oh. Here it is. Replace it with one. I'm gonna change it over and I'm gonna replace it with the one I got from eBay. So we're gonna put this on and fingers crossed this should eradicate that whole missing thing. So stick with me. So we've removed this one and it's on to put on the next one. Always on car parts, what you should do is um, check, the, check the model number. Can you see that? Make sure it's the same as the one you're putting on. It helps a lot. Helps to stop causing problems and wasting your time. So I'm going to put the new one on. Or the new set. Excellent. You've got to love that. 